Well, Dan, it's good to catch up with you again. You're the practice manager for KPMG's Global International Tax Service Line. But you come at this from an interesting background. Tell, tell, tell me a bit more about that. Yeah, thanks, Rodney. It's uh, good to see you again, too. So, so yeah, I, I began my career with the New Zealand firm in 2012 as a, a graduate there. Um, I think that really set me up well for the future because in the New Zealand firm, it's a, a smaller firm. So you're, you're more of a generalist. Um, and so during my time there, I got to work on corporate tax compliance, um, M&A deals, international tax, a whole kind of suite of things. And that really gave me a broad spectrum of, of tax areas and, and really set me up well for the future. So I worked there for about four years and then in 2016, uh, transferred to the Philadelphia office in the US, um, where I started off in the partnership compliance team. And that was a, a, bit, a bit of an eye opener for me. Um, it's, it's not something that we really did in New Zealand. So having to work in fund compliance was really something new and, and interesting for me. Um, so I did that for about two years. And then uh, around the time of US tax reform, I moved into the international tax team. So the beginning of 2018. Um, and I guess there was a lot of work there at the time and they were kind of taking anyone they could. There was so much work going on. So there was a really fun time for me um, and also a great leveler for me because I joined at the same time as uh, everyone else was kind of learning the new systems and really helped me get up to speed. And I think also the background I'd had in New Zealand being a, a generalist really helped me and learning the new rules as well. So I spent about three years in the international tax team. And then towards the end of last year, um, as you say, I took up this practice manager role, um, which uh, became more of an internal role, um, helping on, on strategy and operations and assisting the, the client service teams and, and uh, their delivery to clients. Um, so it's a, it's a really different role to what I've done in the past, but uh, something that I'm, I'm really enjoying at the moment. Well, kind of interesting, Dan. I mean, I'm sure it was a big change moving from a generalist type, uh, different tax system into the the US tax system. Must have been quite yep. a change, but it, I guess it just shows that skills transfer once you've got a good good base grounding in. in a, a yeah, system. definitely. And I think KPMG does a great job with with training and keeping you up to date. So it's it's easy to to keep up to date on that stuff. Pretty good, and so. I mean, you, with that sort of background, what's there's lots of different options, right? What's kept you at KPMG for all this time? Yeah, I think obviously it's quite cliched, but I'd say the number one thing is is the people. Um, uh, I've obviously worked in a couple of different countries with KPMG now, and a few different service lines. Um, and especially in the the current role I have, I'm, I'm working with people across the globe every day, so it's really great to kind of get those different points of view and make those connections around the world and you never really know when you're going to need them. Um, and COVID's obviously made it a little bit more difficult now, but we've got teams and, and Zoom like I'm talking to you here. And uh, yeah, you just you just kind of make the most of it and, and uh, look forward to the days when you're able to meet again in person, that's for sure. Well, it certainly is great. I mean, this must give you exposure to hundreds and hundreds of people around the globe. It just makes you realise, right, just what a, a big place KPMG is if you can yeah. navigate your way around it. And, and then, then, so it's kind of interesting. So you've continued in tax. What's kept you in tax? I think the main thing that's kept me in tax is just the, the continual learning that you get. Um, obviously, like I said, moved across service lines and, and had a, a broad uh, experience in, in the tax world. So I think, that constant learning has has been really great, and it, it keeps keeps it interesting. And you're always learning something new. And um, especially these days, things are seem to be changing even more over the past year. And I think the next few years look look even um, like there'll be more change coming with with BEPS and the global minimum tax, and then US tax reform, UK tax reform. There's there's a lot of change happening, and I think it's. It's that constant change and that need to keep learning that, that kind of keeps me interested in tax and wants me uh, coming back every day. 
probably makes it feel like it's a new job every so often, right? Just with all the change <laughs> that's going, going on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, it certainly is. Um, I mean, it's a great reflection both on you and on the firm, just how you know a career can take lots of different directions and just continue to be interesting within the one place. So, Dan, thank you for your, for your time today. It's good catching up with you. And yes, it will be good to see you in person uh, because travel seems to be opening up, at least within the Carnell United States. Yeah, yeah, definitely, Rodney. I mean, we've spoken a lot over Teams, so it'll be nice to finally meet you face to face on day. <laughs> okay, well, you stay healthy, Dan. You too, Rodney.